Hey guys, it's Dave, your mortgage guy.com. And I've been thinking on this topic and really coming up with a plan on how I think your rental property or properties could pay for your child to go to college, okay? And this really came from two things. But before I dig into it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up with more videos like this. So I own rental properties myself. And we really got into it when my son was very young. And something I really kicked around is what I would look like financially when my uh, son went to college, right? And how he's younger than my daughter, who's much older and going to go away soon and, and kind of preparing for the you know financial responsibility to that if we end up paying for my kid's college. Keep in mind, we don't even know if college is going to be there, if it's going to look different or whatever, but let's run with that theme, okay? So between that and also uh, I caught a video from um, another speaker in real estate. Uh, his name is Brandon with Bigger Pockets. Awesome guy to follow. And he had brought up this topic and he had kind of come up with some ideas. And I wanted to add mine into that and kind of give you a, a really a foolproof plan for this. So here's what it looks like. Let's say your child is born or let's say that they're a toddler and they're three years old. You buy a rental property for on a 15 year mortgage. Yes, you won't cash flow as much per month. You won't make as much money. It's not as sexy as the people who say you want to cash flow and make this return and that or whatever. But we're talking about this situation, right? This plan. And in 15 years, the mortgage is going to be paid off. The tenant has been making the payments. It's paid off. It's free and clear. You don't owe a mortgage on it. And let's say you bought it for $200,000. And now in 15 years is worth... $400,000 or whatever the math is, you could at that time sell the property, take the cash and pay for their mortgage, or I'm sorry, pay for their college education with that cash. That's one option, right? And of course, there's things to dig into, tax consequences, et cetera, et cetera. You could refinance that mortgage, taking out the cash that you can access to pay their college, and then that tenant is going to, or tenant is going to be paying the mortgage off for the next 15 years, right? And so then the house is free and clear with no balance on it for maybe in advance of your child's child going to college. So your grandchild could go to college technically for free because of this one rental property that you are buying now and they may be using it in 30 years, which is crazy to believe, okay? So you have that option, okay? Another one I thought of is this. When it's paid off, your cash flow from that property is gonna be much higher because there's no mortgage, okay? So one thing to do there is let's say you're making $1,000 a month off that rental property because there's no mortgage now after expenses, taxes, insurance, whatnot. Well, if your child took out student loans, they could literally have that rental property paying their student loans back for them, right? Allowing them to have a huge head start going into, uh, into their careers, right? Um, it, and there's some other additional layers there. You know, you could put it into a trust for your child, um, and, and there's a lot of back end stuff that you would really want to dig into. But literally, if you do this plan, you're giving your child a huge leg up going into life because you put the work in now, right? And I think this is a much better avenue than a, um, I think it's called 529B, right? For a savings or paying it out of pocket or them taking on a ton of student loan debt, maybe hindering them going into the workforce right? It, it maybe allows them to get more education than they or you could have afforded, maybe going to med school, maybe getting their MBA. Um, and so it's a wonderful game plan to really map out and think about. I think it's way easier to put in some money and the commitment now versus that bill sneaking up on you. Look, I'll talk about myself. Uh, at the time of this video, my son is eight. And my wife is, or I'm sorry, my daughter is 15. My daughter is going to be looking at colleges soon. And my game plan for her and what we can do 
Unfortunately, it's totally different than my son who is younger and we were able to buy rental properties when he was younger. We're going to be in a better position financially when he goes to college than when my daughter goes to college, right? Um, and so it, it, this really caused me to sit down and think about it. And I really think this is an amazing plan. And so at the end of the day, this is buying a rental property to pay for your kids' uh, college, right? And maybe your grandkids' college. Something to think about. That's some heavy stuff right there. All right. And again, this was my idea, Brandon from Bigger Pockets, really a combination of some things to really come to you with a plan that you can use uh, that will put you in the best position possible. Call or email me anything, comment down below. And if you find my videos helpful, I'd love to be your lender. Thanks, guys.